this video, we will discuss the applications and drawbacks of cloning. First, let's start by discussing the advantages and applications. First, cloning could be used for replacing damaged or missing cells and treating illnesses. It could allow us to select certain genes and remove bad genes to create beings with selected traits. The definition of bad here could be subjective. When it refers to the gene that causes genetic diseases, it could certainly be beneficial by preventing the genetic disease. Cloning could also lead to the creation of designer babies, a baby whose genetic makeup has been altered. This topic deserves a video of its own, but some of the aspects we would like to mention in this video are, first, it could be revolutionary to edit and remove the genes associated with the genetic disease. We would follow up with the downsides of this soon when we discuss the drawbacks of cloning. Let's move on to the second one. Reproductive cloning helps in the fields of agriculture and medicine. If you've watched my previous video on cloning, you may remember Dolly the sheep. If not, you can watch it now, click on the link above. The Scottish scientists who created Dolly had cloned more sheep with the protein that is crucial for blood clotting in humans. This protein can be purified from the milk and provided to people whose blood cannot clot well. Third. Cloned animals can be used to test new drugs and treatments. Clones have the same genetic makeup, so drug results are uniform, unlike in the animals who have different genetic makeup, which produces varied responses to drugs. Fourth, in January 2008, the US FDA declared that milk and meat from animals which were cloned is just as safe as those from animals which are not cloned. As a result, Researchers may utilize different methods of cloning to produce animals with preferable traits, such as more milk producing. This, however, has its limitations because cloning is expensive and it might take years until supermarkets have the facility to sell food produced from cloned organisms. Fifth, clones of endangered or even extinct species can also be created. Researchers cloned an endangered species for the first time, a guar which is a type of Asian ox, in 2001. 6. Cell cloning would also benefit genetic research by assisting scientists in gene editing. 7. Clones can be created for organ transplants. Cloning of entire human beings has ethical implications because if humans are cloned, both the clone and the original one would be humans and both would have the same rights, which would make it using the organs of the clone illegal. However, only organs can be cloned from cells for organ transplants, which could greatly ease the current organ scarcity issue and save millions of lives. 8. One of the benefits of cloning is that it will allow homosexual couples or infertile people to have a child that is biologically their own through implantation of adult somatic cells into an embryo. Now that we have looked over the applications and advantages of cloning, Let's discuss the drawbacks of cloning. First, reproductive cloning is not efficient and almost all clones from animal embryos grew up to be unhealthy. For example, among the 277 cloned embryos by the Scottish researchers we mentioned previously, only Dolly was born alive. This poor efficiency, including safety issues, creates a serious problem for reproductive cloning. Second. As previously discussed as a part of the advantages of cloning, cloning can be used to select, edit, and remove bad genes. If it is used for selecting physical traits that are not associated with a genetic disease, in that case, bad could imply the use of genetic engineering to create humans to fulfill desires for a certain height, eye color, and other physical traits. This could create and exacerbate existing inequities as not everyone would have access to genetic engineering because of its cost. This would increase the social gap between the rich and the poor, where the rich have suggestively superior designer babies with certain physical traits. It would also raise questions for the baby's rights and if someone should be allowed to choose their characteristics without their consent. It could also have unpredictable results on the society because if people are choosing specific traits over others, Genetic variation of the population could decrease, which would increase our predisposition to deformities and diseases as a population. Third, 
Researchers have noticed harmful effects on the mammals that have been cloned as their health is compromised. For example, the cloned animals have defects in vital organs such as brain, liver, and heart, and they also have consequences on their immune system. They may also have premature aging and larger birth size compared to other animals. Additionally, as a part of the natural aging process, when cells undergo division, telomeres, which are the tips of chromosomes, progressively get shorter. Eventually, they shrink so much that the cell loses its ability to divide and subsequently dies. Therefore, if cells taken from an adult are cloned, the clone may have a shorter lifespan because the cell's chromosomes are shorter than normal. Dolly the sheep also had shorter chromosomes than average as she was cloned from the cell of 6-year-old sheep. Therefore, if cells taken from an adult are cloned, the clone may have a shorter lifespan because the cell's chromosomes are shorter than normal. Dolly the sheep also had shorter chromosomes than average as she was cloned from the cell of a 6-year-old sheep. Dolly died at the age of 6, which is half the lifespan of an average sheep. Fourth, as mentioned previously, a baby can be cloned from the genetic material of a donor. However, that could create an unfair situation because the baby loses its rights to have its own genetic material when the donor's genes are forced into the clone. In the next video, we would discuss the applications and drawbacks of therapeutic cloning specifically. There is so much more to know about this extensive topic and we cannot cover everything in a short video. So we highly encourage you to explore these topics further if you find them interesting. The link to our website is in the description box below where you can find the transcript of my videos and great additional resources including research papers, scientific papers and books for further reading of each of the topics.